Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at a question that was sent to me on uh, through email. Um, if you do have any questions, um, feel free to send it to my email or on my socials. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Right, so this was the question I got given. Um, I was a bit confused about integrating fractions with a variable in the denominator. Is there a rule for when to use negative exponents and when to use natural logs? Um, and I guess the best way to kind of think about this types of questions is that you, you've got to look at um, not just the denominator. Uh, there is actually no kind of like set rule for it, for example. Um, but it's just understanding uh, the fraction itself, like what's happening in the numerator and what's happening in the denom denominator. For example, if I have integral of 1 over x cubed, I know that in this case, I've got to actually put this as a negative exponent before actually integrating it. However, if I have something like 7 over x dx, um, I know that if I actually put this as x to the power of negative 1, then what's going to happen is when you add plus 1, the, the new power is 0 and it's going to get messy, right? So this is where that whenever you def, uh, integrate 1 over x, you're actually going to be getting uh, ln of x uh, plus c. All right, so those are kind of like our two basic ones that we kind of start off with. Um, so as I said to you before, it depends on the denominator so and the numerator. So for example, you might get a question that looks something like this, um, where you might have like x cubed. Uh, I'm trying to think about this, x cubed over 1 and 3x squared. Now, in this case, obviously, we can't actually bring um, the x cubed plus 1 to the numerator to make it as negative 1. It, would, it won't actually work. So here is where you might actually need to use a reverse chain rule. Or you can actually kind of see that uh, one of the um, integrals that we do is where the function is in the denominator and the differentiated function is in the top. Um, so that's, that could be one of those things that, that you need to kind of look for patterns for. So in this case, you can kind of see that uh, 3x squared is actually uh, the differentiation of x cubed. Um, another thing that you can also uh, keep in mind that could happen is sometimes they have something like this, uh, 3 over x plus 1 dx. Um, again, in this case, you're going to be actually doing, um, when you integrate this, you're going to end up with 3 ln of x plus 1 plus c and the, the last one of course is i always forget this one is on the odd occasion you actually end up with something that looks like this 3x plus uh, know, let's do 3x plus 11 and divided by x minus 1 dx so if, if you get the last question um, you actually need to do this with um, separate this as a fraction uh, what do I mean by that? Um, I think you kind of do long division, um, or you can actually just separate it like this as well. Like So I tend to use long division. I would actually go 3x plus 11, and I multiply by 3, so I've got 3x minus 3. So 3x take away 3x is 0. 11 take away 3 is 14. Take away negative 3, sorry. So then this would end up being looking like this, uh, 3 uh, plus 14 over x minus 1 um, dx. So as you guys can see, uh, I mean, like, it really depends on the question, uh, like, what's actually in the fraction. So you've got to look at both the numerator and the denominator before you um, decide how, uh, whether you want to use negative exponents or whether you want to use um, natural logs for it. Uh, hopefully I answered this uh, question uh, for the person that actually asked me. Um, if not, um, you know, feel free to write uh, further comments uh, and I'll see if I can try and get back to you. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.